It's fall, and things are falling all around us. Leaves from the tree, rain from the sky, the Miami Dolphins offensive line, and the price of Cardano. This past month, ADA has seen just over a 10% correction, so that means we should all panic sell, right? Wrong. Newer investors see this pullback and fear the worst, while veteran traders view this as an opportunity for a better entry point. I read some of the comments, and I hear the FUD every day. It's all noise to get you to sell before the real pump happens. Trust me when I tell you, Q4 of Cardano will exceed all expectations. Grab your pumpkin spice latte, kick back, and find out why. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the largest crypto community in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money in crypto, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video, we will discuss recent news regarding Cardano and its ecosystem, learn about some new killer CNTFs on the horizon, and why Q4 will be massive for the coin we all love so much. The Cardano roadmap is organized into five eras. Byron, Shelley, Gogan, Basho, and Voltaire. The Alonzo hard fork was fully implemented this September, which marked the end of the Gogan era. Now we're on to the Basho area, which will start sometime in 2022. The Basho era will focus on improving Cardano's scalability and interoperability as well as integrating on-chain governance and sidechains. These sidechains carry some of the load from the main blockchain to increase the capacity of the network. According to Charles Hoskinson, the Basho era will answer the question, how do you go from thousands to tens of thousands to a hundred of thousands from millions to billions? This increase in scalability will be crucial to the big picture of Cardano, considering how many millions of unbanked from around the world will be onboarded to this project. Earlier this year, the Cardano Foundation partnered with the Ethiopian government to accommodate over 5 million students and teachers to assist with their educational system. Charles is currently touring Africa right now. He's been giving speeches, talking with politicians, and laying the groundwork necessary to integrate Cardano with an entire continent. This has already resulted in a new partnership. According to Tosan Olahidi from Financial Watch, Emergo, the investment arm of Cardano, is partnered with one of its subsidiaries with Adanian Labs, Pan-African Venture Studio, that's focused on building a platform where African tech startups can thrive and access all key resources that allow them to grow sustainably. According to a statement issued by Adanian Labs in regards to this $100 million investment vehicle, this investment is focused on achieving one of the goals of Cardano, which is to bring financial and educational empowerment via its blockchain platform to the billions who lack these opportunities. This will give countless African tech startups key resources they need to grow and thrive in their new, ever-growing community. And it's all thanks to Cardano. Speaking of $100 million Emergo investments, Emergo announced at the end of September that they're going to invest $100 million into the Cardano ecosystem to accelerate DeFi, NFT solutions, and blockchain education. Their new investment vehicles, Emergo Africa and Emergo Ventures, have already made seed investments in Cardano-focused projects, including Adanian Labs, Adaverse, and Milk Amita. If you have any doubts about Cardano, focus less on the price and more on the ecosystem. It's constantly growing and improving, and although the price of ADA has been stagnant in the past month, doesn't mean that they're not growing. The CEO of the Cardano Foundation, Frederick Grigard, was on a podcast recently and broke down some future updates for Cardano. He spoke about the importance of the governance portion of Cardano that will be developed in the upcoming Voltaire era. Grigard was emphatic when he said that the next struggle for blockchain isn't digital identities or tokenized stocks, it's governance. Who is in control of these systems that will be running the world soon? It's a very important question. Governments don't want to give up their controls to a centralized system, let alone one that's truly democratic. Looks like the next 18 to 24 months are going to be a harbinger of decentralized blockchain to come. Cardano is fully invested in a decentralized future, but it appears that there are going to be monumental hurdles ahead. This matters, and you need to stay engaged with what's happening in blockchain governance. DeFi and crypto's ability to disrupt legacy finance relies on it remaining autonomous and decentralized. Cardano Foundation is hoping to keep as much of the benefits of a centralized blockchain, speedy updates, tighter controls, better focus on new developments, but bring them to decentralized chains. 
Centralization gives up a lot in security and network effects on innovation, and those are going to be what defines blockchain in the future and keeps it from becoming stagnant. It's interesting to note that Regard doesn't view Ethereum as a competitor to Cardano. Instead, he sees DOT, ALGO, and Tezos competing against Cardano in the coming years, has a lot of respect for those projects. Keep in mind that DOT and Cardano share some of the same DNA with their consensus mechanisms. In the spirit of Halloween, it makes sense that Boobert's, the release of 10,000 unique cute ghost NFTs, drops October 29th of this year. Each ghost has a different costume, ranging from pumpkins to witches, zombies, vampires, mummies, and even the devil himself. On their roadmap, it shows that they are making ghost NFTs that stick to the theme of landmark holidays throughout the year, starting with Halloween, then Christmas, Valentine's Day, and Easter, because everybody loves a good ghost Easter bunny, or Easter bunny, if you will. If you see any of the ghosts at the bar, you know they came for the booze. Learn more at boober.io. The carnival's in town. Get your caramel apples and take a ride on the Ferris wheel at Cardonival, another Halloween carnival-themed Cardano NFT. Cardonival will also have its first act on October 29th this year. There will only be 336 of these killer clowns in existence. With a minting prize of only 35 ADA, these clowns are to die for. They're even giving away one clown NFT on the 29th. Having one of these in your collection would make Pennywise happy that you have it. A tweet from Beanie.eth points out the total market cap of every NFT in the world plus every NFT tech protocol is only about half the size of Cardano, which is worthless. We're still early. I agree that we're still early, but I vehemently disagree that Cardano is worthless. This is a common low blow from an Ethereum maxi, but anything with a market cap of $69 billion is far from worthless. I mention this tweet because the internet is filled to the brim with the thoughts and opinions of biased people who take this tribal approach in blockchain. With all due respect, this approach is immature, uncalled for, and outright redundant. Like I said earlier, I see the comments, I hear the FUD, and it's nothing but noise. It's a distraction from the big picture, and the big picture is what I implore my viewership to stay focused on, especially with Cardano. Crypto is a time-sensitive subject. In every second you spend leaving a negative comment or spreading FUD, that's one second you could have spent looking at a chart or focusing on something that you could do to improve your portfolio and ultimately your financial future. You get out what you put in. Blockchain is meant to bring the world together and make it a better, more efficient place to be. That's what Charles Hoskinson is doing in Africa as we speak. It's only a matter of time. Bitcoin dominance is high right now and that's why alts are suffering. In a matter of weeks, alts will have their day in the sun and coins like Cardano are poised to breeze past previous all-time highs into price discovery. The patient prevail. That's all I got. Be blessed. Boy out.